Hey guys, I do is Kevin Tech here bring you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday and today I want to go over job recruiters. Obviously if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, that's not support videos, talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, so what the hell is this video about? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So this video is about job recruiters. So why am I going over this? It's because when you're brand new to IT, you there you could be applying for these jobs, right? Dice, Monster, um, using LinkedIn, right? You want to have more than one one area to apply for jobs. You don't want to just be applying for jobs on these websites. You also want to be applying for jobs. If you don't know, there are IT recruiting staff or uh, IT recruiting agencies that help you get a job in IT. So I'm today I'm going to go over some of them. Obviously, not all of them. And this, hopefully this will help you out if you're brand new to IT. So if you're brand new to IT, you either apply for jobs online with different websites or you work with an IT recruiting firm, if that makes sense. I have worked with an IT recruiting firm. So I'm going to show you different companies that I think you should go and apply for and put your resume in there and see if they get back to you, all right? And hopefully this helps you out. First company, Rubber Half Technology. Very good company to work for, by the way. Um, second one, Inside Global. Uh, third one, Tech Systems. Someone actually got a job for Tech Systems. I know someone that got a job. Uh, next one is ExecuSearch. That's where I have I got a job for a hedge fund uh, applying in ExecuSearch. Uh, next one is Kelly Services. Uh, you've never even heard of that. I just checked online. They're, they're hiring um, in Minnesota right now for help desk. There is Randstrand. That's another good company. Uh, Lucas Group. It's a really good company as well. Nelson, right? And K-Force. And this one that I didn't add here is Mitchell Martin, which is another company that actually got me a job as a hedge fund. So why am I going over all these different, you know, recruiting firms? What's, what's the point? So basically, if you're new to IT, I need you to apply to these recruiting firms with your resume. But make sure you have a good resume that makes sense. Obviously, if the resume sucks or it's horrible, then no one's going to call you. So... Uh, how does a recruiter work? So there's a location. So remember, oh, keep in mind the location is very important. So it depends where you live and everything because some of these recruiting firms may, may be available to you, may not be available to you. So it really depends where you live. But some of them are international worldwide. So you could actually call and, you know, you have like a, you, you'll meet with like a recruiting manager or someone that's a recruiter. And then what they do is, I'll tell you how it works. What they do is you submit your resume. Depending on the website, you submit your resume after 24 hours, someone will get back to you. They will look at your resume. They'll call you. They'll have an interview with you. And then they'll ask you about, like, the resume. Look at the resume. Like, okay, so what kind of job are you looking for? Are you looking for help desk, IT support, system admin, network admin? They, so basically, they just want to get a feel for you to see what you're trying to get or what job you're trying to get, if that makes sense. And also, they want to get a feel for you to see how you interact with them, how you engage with them. Once they get a feel for you, then they'll tell you, okay, when I have jobs for help desk, I'll let you know. And then if I think you fit, you fit well with this company based on your resume, then I will go ahead and give you a call and I'll submit your application to them. Also, on top of that, just this is, this is really good for anyone that's new. On top of that, if you're working with a recruiter, usually they fix your resume. So if your resume is really, really bad and it's sloppy, they will go ahead and turn it around and fix your resume to make it look a lot better. And then they give you they give you their own recommendations. Oh, listen, like this, I think you should add um, Active Directory on this resume because you're applying for this help desk job. That I think we can get you a job for this, right? But you need to have Active Directory on the resume. And I'm pretty sure they'll they're gonna give you a chance for an interview because now you have it on the resume. So like an example like that, if that makes sense. So you wanna you wanna you wanna talk to recruiting firms, recruiting companies besides applying to these websites like Dice, you know, Monster, and all that. And then make sure you have a really good job recruiter. If you have a really good, because they're, they're, you know, there are there are pros and cons for job recruiters. Some of them, they call you and all they want is money. All they want is to, you know, actually not give you anything and not help you. Them other recruiters, they're really super polite, professional. They're nice. They're willing to help you. They're willing to help you get a job. So keep that in mind. Every person is different. You know, don't don't judge someone based on that one person in that company. You know, they're different job recruiters. You know, so. Some will help you, some will not. Figure out what the right one, get the right person to work with you, and then after that, help them help uh, help them understand what you're looking for, and then you 
they will help you. Trust me, they'll help you. They fix your resume, and then you start applying for jobs with with that company. If that makes sense. All right. Keep in mind that that I'm they they uh, they have different you know there's different contracts, right? So for a recruiter, there's different contracts. There's contract to hire. There's a contract. Sometimes they have a contract for three months. Some will have contract to permanent. Some will have contract for eight months or nine months. Some will have an open contract, which is what I had, which basically means the contract stays open forever, and then there's no end time to it. So there are different types of contracts that you sign with the company. That's another thing. The other thing is that, that I, I, I don't want to forget to mention is that when you will get a job for a company working with a recruiting firm, you actually have to submit your day and time on their website. So like if you're working with ExecuSearch, for example, like this, I work for ExecuSearch, I used to work with that company. You have to go on their portal and submit your day and time. And then what happens is the date and time and all that, all that information gets submitted to the manager of that company you're working for and then they approve it and then you get paid. So you're getting paid technically or you're actually getting paid from the recruiting firm. They're, they're, they're basically it's going back and forth. So it, it, the money is getting, from, is getting paid from the company itself, but then they turn it around, they give that money to the company that you're working for and then that ter they turn it around and they pay you. So some of these companies, um, they have benefits, some of these do not have benefits. So it depends what kind of contract you sign. So if you're a contractor, you may get benefits, you may not get benefits. So what does that mean? So you gotta keep all this in mind when you're when you're you know when you're talking to these different recruiters. Just keep that in your mind, you know? Sometimes you get paid more money, but you have no benefits. So you don't have PTO, pay time off, you don't have vacation time that you could use at all, you know. So keep that in mind when you're uh, talking and negotiating with these contracts. Make sure you have a contract that makes sense. It's not like you're gonna get paid like forty, fifty dollars, you're getting paid a lot of money, but then you have no time off, you know, or you don't get you don't get health care or dental you know you, you want to keep all that in mind if that makes sense so keep that in mind when you're applying for for these recruiting firms okay another thing you want to keep in mind that they are taking money from your account they are taking money so if you're making like I'll give you like a hypothetical example if you're making twenty dollars an hour they're probably making forty dollars an hour they are making money from you so you're probably not getting you're probably getting a, only a, a certain amount of money but then the rest of the money is going to the recruiting firm but it's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing for you because you're getting job experience. So then um, you stop applying for those recruiting firms or you could stick around and, and, and go and apply for another recruiting firm and then they have these full-time positions. When they have the full-time positions, then you don't, have to, you don't have to work with the recruiting firm anymore and then you're actually fully in the company if that makes sense. So keep that in mind as well. So some of these contracts is with this full-time. What happens is when you're a full-time employee or when, you, when the company really loves you or likes you, they actually they have to pay extra money for that. So they pay extra money to the recruiting firm, any of these services right over here, they pay them extra money to keep you. Because some companies, um, they, don't wanna, they, don't, they, don't, they don't keep you. They keep you as a, as a contractor. So you're basically uh, uh, working as a, as a contractor. It's an ongoing contract. And they, do, they, they don't want to pay the extra money to keep you as a full-time employee. Some companies don't have a budget. They don't have a really budget, like a really good budget for IT, so they want to keep you as a contractor instead. Some companies cannot afford to hire you full time because they don't have money for the benefits for everything, PTO and all that good stuff. So keep that in mind as well. It depends what company you're working for. It depends if that company has money to afford you. You know, all those things are important. But going back on the topic, what's really important about this is just make sure you negotiate a good amount of money for yourself if you're applying for a certain job and you want to get that certain job, make sure you have a good contract that has P that may have PTO, maybe care about healthcare and dental, maybe that maybe maybe you tell maybe you're talking to one of them and you know because the whole pandemic thing. Yeah, I just want to I want jobs for help that's strictly just working remote, you know, like that, for example, right? So make sure it's a good deal between you and the recruiting firm if that makes sense. So that's how it works. Basically, they 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 have their own website, you log in, you pull your benefits in, um you get benefits from the recruiting firm, not the actual company itself that you're working for. So they have their own website and URL and everything. So why, why am I going all over this? Because when you're brand new to IT, you want to get some sort of job experience, right? Besides applying to Indeed, Dice, all these other websites, you can go ahead and apply for a job recruiting firm. Some of these, some of these recruiting firms, man, they helped me. They saved me a lot for job experience. I'm, I'm not even joking about that. So that's the reason why I'm going over this, because when I, when I got a job in, in the execu search, uh, for a hedge fund, 
that saved my life. Be that saved my life big time because now I have job experience from that contract role that I could take and put on my resume and then go to my next job, if that makes sense. So that's really important. So you want to keep that in mind. It's all about having that job experience on the resume. So this, I take this as something positive, not negative, but also you want to keep in mind that you want to have a good contract. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That wraps up this video. I don't want to make it too long. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. And um, any one of you guys that are watching this video that you know of a good recruiting firm that, that helped you get a job, leave it below in the comment section below and let me know. I'm going to leave some, I'm going to leave some links below on different recruiting firms that you should be applying for. And I'm also going to leave a link below on one of my other videos on how to negotiate your salary. And that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Bye.